Hey, good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, May the 10th, and this is your daily word of encouragement. You know, today's uh, thoughts really going to focus on that word encouragement. Uh, when I first started doing these morning devotions uh, back during the early days of COVID last spring, uh, I was trying to come up with a name of what to call these every day, and, and that was the name I came up with, a daily word uh, of encouragement. That um, This is something that hopefully you could watch early in the morning or whenever you get a chance to, to watch it throughout the day. And it would be a source of just that. It would be a source of encouragement. Now, that word itself, encourage, means to uh, to place courage within someone else. We need encouragement when we are feeling a lack of courage. We feel like a lack of strength, a lack of power. And when someone else can come alongside of us and place some of their courage or the courage that they, it's the, the truth about uh, the reality, the truth about life that they can, they can see and understand that sometimes we are obscured from seeing because of the challenges that we're facing and take a little bit of that courage and place it within us, um, man, it has a powerful effect um, when we you know that someone cares about us enough to speak that word of truth into us or to offer those words of support to us. That's what the idea of encouragement is. And it's one of the another, um, important reasons why uh, important realities about our our existence and the way that God created us. God, you know, created us to to experience life together, and to to be that for one another. We need uh, the words of encouragement that come from people who know us and who care about us. Um, and that's what the verse today is, is simply an encourage is, is an encouragement to do um, out of First Thessalonians uh, chapter five verses eleven. This uh, takes this verse comes out of the last chapter, the very uh, the the ending part of Paul's letter to the uh, first letter to the Thessalonian church, and this is a, a fairly young church in its existence, um, had not been planted long before Paul uh, wrote this letter to it. And as many churches during that that time period were facing, they were dealing with persecution, and um, and so Paul knew that it was a struggle for them because there were uh, forces within the area, particularly Jewish forces, that. Um, felt like they were you know, preaching a you know, perverted theology, you know, claiming that Jesus was the Christ and, and um, that he was the Son of God, he was God's Messiah. And so they were, they were dealing with this kind of persecution from outside forces. And so Paul knew how desperately they were going to need to depend upon, to lean upon one another when things and times got hard. And so uh, these words uh, uh, of encouragement, about encouragement, come towards the end of the letter. Here's what Paul writes. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 Therefore, encourage one another... And build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. So this is a church that Paul already uh, recognizes and acknowledges had developed a pattern of encouragement. But as times were going to get more difficult for them, he was encouraging them to remain encouraging. Listen, every day life throws things at us that tear us down, that wear us down, that wear us out. Um, the last thing we need to do is to add on to that by the way that we speak to one another and by the way that we uh, encounter each other. Um, particularly in the body of Christ, we need to be those constant sources of encouragement. Not filling people up with lies or telling people things that aren't true just to make them feel better, but pointing them back to God's truth, reminding them of God's promises and God's presence, being an ear for them to listen, being a shoulder for them to cry on, uh, being someone who can just be present with them and be and, and experience the uh, with compassion and with empathy, experience uh, step into that pain of, of what they're going through. Um, that's what we do encourage. We you know because we take the this, the strength that we have and we place that we put that courage into someone else, knowing there's going to come a day and there's going to come a time where we're going to need to receive the same from them as well. And that's how the body works together. That's how the body works to support one another. So be an encourager today. Uh, find something positive, find something, uh, some source of truth uh, that you can take and place into the life of someone who desperately needs it. In fact, if you want to follow through with um, our next steps and our challenge from the sermon yesterday, when you do that prayer for one, praying for one person that, that um, God will bring into your path today that you can show love to, um, recognize when that moment happens and that awareness to, to offer that encouragement that you have from your closeness with God um, to that individual that God brings into your path. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for this day that you bless us with. And Lord, I just pray today that, that we would be encouraged, that we would be reminded of the strength that we have from knowing you and being in a relationship with you. And that through that, through, through that strength, Lord, we would then um, have the opportunity and Lord, certainly the, the, um, the ability to, um, 
to bless someone else by encouraging them, whether it be a, a spoken word, whether it be a gesture, whether it be an act of kindness, or just simply time spent with someone who um, who needs uh, that, that connection. Um, Lord, I pray that you would just open our eyes to be aware of the needs around us and that you would equip us with what we need in that moment to respond to your Spirit's leading. Lord, we love you, and we pray all this in your name. Amen. God bless everyone, and be encouraged today.